This video is about acid base balance. So, what is acid base balance? Inside the human body, to maintain the homeostasis of the human body, acid and base balance is very important. So, to for to perform all the physiological activities of the human body, the acid base balance is required. So, the amount of the acid and bases are managed in the human body in a balanced way. So if any slight variations or deviations in the amount of the acid and bases from their normal range, it may lead to the serious consequences or the lethal effects to the physiological activities. It may impair or affect the physiological activities of the human body, or it may also cause the pathological effects and damage to the organs of the human body. So this acid base balance is required so acid base balance it may if there is any minute disturbances or deviations or there is imbalance in the acid base level so it may uh, affect the organs and systems of the human body so let's see uh, first of all that what are the acids and bases that their level are to be managed or required in the human body to maintain the physiological activities of the human body so in, to maintain the acid base balances, for the acid base balance, the two ions that represents these acid and bases are the hydrogen ion and bicarbonate ion. So this hydrogen ion and bicarbonate ion, like hydrogen is, ion is mostly represented for the acids and bicarbonate ion is mostly represented for uh, or donates the bases. So their concentration, they have, they are present in the human body in specific range or specific concentration. So these both concentrations should be in their specific range or any minute imbalances or their uh, variations in their concentration ranges, it may cause the serious lethal and pathological effects to the different functions of the human body. So these two ions like hydrogen ion and bicarbonate ions, these two ions are very important to maintain the acid base balance. Acid base balance is also uh, like this in case of ions, like as for acid base balance, the acids, there are acids and there are bases that maintains the normal physiological activities. And besides this, there are two ions that are responsible for the acid base balance. They are the hydrogen ion and bicarbonate ion. There are specific organs that regulate the acid base balance. These organs are the lungs, erythrocytes and kidneys. So these three organs are also involved in the regulation of the acid base balance, like to maintain the normal hemostasis, to maintain the hemostasis of the human body uh, for by keeping these acid and base levels in their specific ranges. The organs involved in their balance are the uh, lungs, erythrocytes and kidneys. There are specific detailed mechanisms that how they regulate the acid base levels in the human body. But as overview, uh, these three organs are important in the regulation or they are involved in the regulation of the acid base levels or in the acid base balance is regulated by these three organs like respiratory system, like lungs, erythrocytes, like metabolic chemical buffer system and kidneys. So like acid base balance two ions are required hydrogen and, and bicarbonate and it is regulated by the organs like lungs erythrocytes and kidneys now let's see first of all what are acids and what are bases and how their level will be managed and how why these are required to be in specific range in the human body so what are acids acids are basically those substances or those molecules that has the ability to accept the proton. They has the ability to donate the proton. Like acids are the proton donors. So here uh, we means the proton, the proton is for the hydrogen ions. So acids are those substances as in, in the human body. Um, when we talk about the acid base balances, mostly we, it is mostly concerned with the hydrogen ion. As I told you before, that the two ions are that we study in the human system, in the human physiology, that their levels are to be regulated in a well-specific range. 
So these two ions that we talk about here are the hydrogen ion and bicarbonate ions. So for the acids and bases here, we talk about their ability for the hydrogen ions. Acids are those substances that donate the hydrogen ion. So that's why the molecules that tends to release the hydrogen ions are will be like they they will be responsible to elevate the hydrogen ion or to cause the acidic environment to the human body so those substances that they will release the hydrogen ions they will be responsible for the acidic environment of the human body so acids are basically those molecules that will donate the proton and here we talk about the proton in the human body all the these physiological activities that is concerned with the ion hydrogen ion so acids are those substances that will donate the or that will release the hydrogen ion through their chemical reactions so as acids like these are in the um, solution these are the molecules now these molecules as you can see these red dots indicates the acids uh, uh sorry hydrogen ions so acids are those molecules that will release the hydrogen ion so these hydrogen ions are released so they will release the hydrogen ions so acids are those molecules uh, that they will be responsible for releasing of the hydrogen ions so in the human body as we talked about the physiology of the human so in the human body which molecules are act as acids so it means that those molecules will, will be responsible for to release the hydrogen ions so physiologically important acids that these acids like in the human body which molecules will be act as acids that they will be responsible for the production of the hydrogen ion it means that what are the sources of hydrogen ion in the human body so from where this hydrogen ion comes that it will maintain the acidic environment of the human body like acid and base balance so this hydrogen ion is donated by or is released by is provided by in the body through different mechanisms or through different molecules some involves the metabolic reactions like we take up the food and the food uh, after uh, passing through the digestive system when they are absorbed through the small intestine they enters into the blood circulation through blood circulation they are provided to the specific sites and tissues where the metabolic process takes place then after the metabolism the most important the um, different products are released and the different molecules are released they will be responsible for the uh, production and for the release of the hydrogen ion so what are these molecules these are the carbonic acid like h2co3 phosphoric acid pyruvic acid and lactic acid so these are the important acids that are present in the human body that are responsible for the production of the hydrogen ion that are responsible for to donate the hydrogen ion for the acidic environment of the human body so carbonic acid like h2co3 um they uh, dissociate into ions bicarbonate ion and it will gives the hydrogen ion then phosphoric acid h3po4 it will give h2po4 and hydrogen ions will be released the next is the pyruvic acid so pyruvic acid uh, as it is the this is the intermediate product for the metabolism of carbohydrates like in glycolysis so pyruvic acid uh, they converts into when they converts into acetyl coa this nad molecule is converted into nadh and the hydrogen ion is released so these are the sources for the hydrogen ions the next is lactic acid when the lactic acid converts into the pyruvic acid nad is converted into nadh plus h plus so these are the hydrogen sources so it means that these substances are acids because they are giving the hydrogen ions and they are releasing the hydrogen ions that these substances are these molecules are the hydrogen donors so these physiologically physiologically important acids that are present inside the human body or we can say that what are the sources of hydrogen so these are the sources of hydrogen present inside the human body that from where you get the hydrogen ions and these are irreversible uh, sorry reversible as you can see here these are reversible steps so these can again uh, depends on the uh, needs or the functions of the body it can be again converted into their previous molecules so now let's come to the what are bases so as compared to the acids 
bases are those molecules that they will accept the hydrogen ion. So they are proton acceptor. So as we hear um, talking about two ions, they are the hydrogen ion and bicarbonate ion. So bicarbonate is a base because it will accept the hydrogen ion. So base are those molecules that they will, they are the proton acceptors that they will accept the hydrogen ion. So this, uh, as these molecules are shown here, that they are the bases, how like hydroxyl ion, you can say that bases are those substances that contains the hydroxyl ion or that they has the ability as these are the hydroxyl ion. So it has the ability to accept this hydrogen ion and to become this molecule. So bases are those substances that has the ability to accept the hydrogen ion. So physiologically important bases that represent the human body, that bases that they will accept the hydrogen ions and will provide the basic environment to the human body and to reduce the acidic environment. So for the acidic, as we have seen that for the acidic environment, the hydrogen ion is responsible. So the hydrogen ion, or if there is excess of acidity, this acidic, acidic status of the human body is neutralized or is balanced with the bases. So these bases that they will accept the hydrogen ion and will keep the balance between the acids and bases as the acids will donate the hydrogen ion. So these bases depends on the environment to maintain the normal hemostasis of the body. So whenever there is required, these bases will accept these excess. If there is excess of hydrogen ion or there is excess of acidity of acidic environment. So in that case, these bases will neutralize the environment, will, will cause the environment into the homeostasis. So these bases will accept the hydrogen ion and will try to maintain the homeostasis of the human body. So what are these bases that are uh, present in the human body? They are the bicarbonate and biphosphate. So bicarbonate as HCO3 minus, it will accept the hydrogen ion and it will again form the carbonic acid H2CO3. And the biphosphate, it will accept the hydrogen ion and will again form the H2PO4 minus. So these bases are required to maintain the hemostasis as they will accept the if there is excess of the acids or if there is excess of the hydrogen ion formation then to it will lead to the acidity so to for the hemostasis and to keep in balance the environment so these bases will accept these hydrogen ions and will try to maintain the uh, hemostasis of the environment